Welcome to Unity Plaza and River City Live. And we are kind of back in the swing of things yesterday, of course, after the show, everybody had a chance to get out and do a lot of things. Some wonderful memorials happening around town yesterday. And then, of course, lots of beach and barbecue time. Now, we want your pictures. We always do. We would love for you to send us your pictures. And to get you in the mood, we thought we would share some of our Memorial Day photos with you, starting with you, Elizabeth. Yes, we started the weekend. My husband and I, on Friday, went to the uh, Daytona International Speedway for the Country 500. It was a lot of great people watching, a lot of great music. So it was a good time. And I know people from all around the state and country made their way there. So that's what was here in Jacksonville the last couple of years. And then we ended our weekend last night with a delicious low country boil, one of my absolute favorites. That so looks really good. It was amazing. You made I, it. Uh, family friends. Ah, there we so go. So it wasn't me. I just, I just made sure I ate some of it. So and took a couple good pictures. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that yeah. looks good. What about you and the boys? We headed out to uh, Fernandina Beach. Right there is a, a pic with the boys. Now we didn't catch that shark. That's a, a fake shark that's just hanging out there by the dock. But they, uh -huh. they like that. <laughs> and then we walked around the downtown area. Just so cute. There's a lot of places to get candy, oh, ice cream, wow. coffee, and all that stuff. So there they are. I actually got them together. Out of like 20 pictures, that's the best, and it's not even that great. It really is like herding kittens. Did you really get them candy and ice cream? They liked that. <laughs> and then, it's the way I bribe them throughout. And then look at these happy kids. Uh, yes. You see, uh, there's Tyler. A little diva in training, and then uh, your little cl the teen Chloe, girl. Yeah, there's Chloe and her friend Caroline. They were doing some kind of some babysitting, but you know it's a rough life when that's your babysitting. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. We had a good time. She's she's a sassy little fun girl to, Ooh, to have. Eight said. going on 13. Mm. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah. It's a great place to live, I'll tell you that. It is, and speaking of it being a great place to live, it's also the number two place in the country right now to move. So Jacksonville, our very own city, a lot of people moving here. And this is coming right after Tampa, which is number one. And the average home price here in Jacksonville is $272,000. And then another um, city not far from us, Orlando, came in at number seven. Now, also, when it came to millennials, Jax comes in as the number two destination in the country for millennials. So. We have people of all ages moving here. Yeah, it's Families, attracting everybody. Millennials, yeah. yeah, Tampa, Miami, and Orlando followed us at three, four, and five. So a lot of great cities here in our area. Are you know, staying. it's interesting too. You think of Florida, and a lot of people come here to retire. Or that's, that's what yeah. I think a lot of people think of it. But it looks like it's attracting a lot of millennials, and then just everybody's mm -hmm. coming in here. So Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa. That's really interesting. Everything's starting to grow. So it goes by house prices, I believe, economy. So it's cost of living. Like, yeah. I like being Life. on that list. Jobs. Beaches, <laughs> no state taxes. That's yeah. Yep. That's a good one too. All right, so let me throw something out at you. And um, just think think about this, ladies, if you're watching, guys, you too. In your household, who does the returning of clothing? If there was ever somebody in your household <laughs> that returns things, <laughs> is it you you do return totally, things? Totally, yeah. You do? I, See now in my house, my husband will he would rather have it hang there with the tags on for months and months than return something, Rance. No, you I mean, I, I will, but this is my question. I mean, I know we're getting into the, the, the uh, conversation, but you ladies will get a bunch of clothes to try on. At home. And, yeah, and then return them. Well, unfortunately, our habits are causing some inflation because, according to some researchers, the price of women's clothing goes up a little bit because of all of the returning that happens, particularly online. But, you know, I went through a phase where I was banned from Target. I couldn't return. <laughs> no, no they do that. They do yeah, that. no, yeah. I was on the do yeah. not return list. <laughs> you only get a certain know. amount. There was such a yeah. thing. Yeah, no, if you don't have a receipt, you only get a certain amount that you could do. But it's interesting, though, returning, I guess I'm kind of like the woman, I guess, in my house. <laughs> Because what I do, I'm so hard-headed, I don't try it on there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know my sizes, and I grab it. When I come home, it doesn't fit right. I'm like, i got to return it. You know, so it's mm -hmm. always an awkward thing. I'm like, Ugh, and then you have to bring everything back to do it. Have you ever done this in your youth? Uh, worn an item, left the tag on, just so you could take it back, like, the next day? Or? I don't think I've ever done that. Boy, that is so not right. <laughs> I, I know, I've heard of people, though, who do that all the time. And I feel like that is a touchy subject, because a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. completely disagree disagree with that, which yeah. I, I can kind of yeah, understand. Well, I, I have a touchy subject that we could talk about. <laughs> so over weekends, right, weekends or after work,
work. Do you guys respond to your work emails? No. No? <laughs> do you guys it do depends that? on who it's from. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, sir. So it turns out that France, it's all part of their planned labor reform. And basically, they're proposing this to companies that have over 50 employees, saying that after work hours, to not have people check their emails or weekends. You know, so to be free from the burden of work. So, and it, we actually, so we, we put actually this on our social media. they're making it illegal. Yeah, well, it's not necessarily illegal, but they're trying to craft a law to guide them to that route. You know, so it's more like a slap on the wrist. I don't think there's going to so be work, penalties for that. So you can't send it to your workers. Yeah, so, and, and again, right? it's for bigger companies, but it's pretty interesting because for the most part, I don't know about you guys, especially with phones, you are always on, you know, your, your phone, you could always see emails coming in. Except if you rants, because rants <laughs> <Not me. laughs> does not have his work email. So a lot of times he shows up to things not knowing what we're supposed to be doing. Hey, well, you know, is, that's why I have great producers. That's right. The that's question right. is, do you think that that is a good idea? And we we're asking you that on our Facebook page at River City Live TV. So be sure to chime in and let us know. They're just looking to simplify life for people so you can enjoy it. But there are some things out there are there's some simple things that you definitely cannot do, Eden. All right, so this is something that we also had been talking about on social media a little bit. Simple things that some people can't do, but it seems like everyone else in the world can do. Let me give you a great example. Uh, whistling. You can't whistle. I can't whistle. I can make whistle. a weird, I can do, That's maybe, not whistling. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, okay. But I can whistle this way. How do you do that? I don't know. I that can do that, weird. but I can't can you whistle. you wrap gifts? Wrapping gifts is yes. when people said that they can't do it. I'm not very good at it. Uh, let's see, another one is blinking with each eye, snapping. Yeah, blinking with e each eye. Snapping. I can do that. You mean winking? Yeah, winking with each eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure we all can blink with both eyes. Do with one, though. I know, but. What? <laughs> <laughs> let's see you do it. <laughs> what about snapping? Can you snap? Only with uh, my right. You what can't do it with your left. You can't snap with your left? So I your mean, left it hand has no rhythm. Good to know. That is weird. So. <laughs> Is there anybody else here that has this one weird thing that they can't do that everybody else seems can like they can do? Can you all roll your R's? Burrito. <sighs> See, I'm so either. jealous of that. Yeah. I wish I could do that. You never know. I like, Cinco de Mayo, you might need Try to. it, try it. Just for fun. Burrito. <laughs> no, fun. I'm going to look so dumb. Right, so try it. <laughs> no, I, I can't, I can't. Burrito, I can't. Yeah. I'm saving myself. <laughs> <That's horrible>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Need to go out somewhere and uh, meet well, some people. Yes, let's meet some people. I met some really cool people thanks to producer <laughs> Abigirl. Uh, she turned me on to these guys who had this fine dining experience, but they've decided to bring it to the people in a casual style with some barbecue. And you can check them out over on San Marco. We went to the Bearded Pig. I've never heard the word vibe used so much in our first couple of weeks open. The vibe is so inviting, it's so casual. And that's, so we hit a home run. That's what our goal was. That's a Major League Bat Flip style comment from Chad Muncy, co-owner, head of operations for the recently opened The Bearded Pig. He goes yard again when talking about how the restaurant was conceptualized. The whole idea is just creating kind of uh, a different spin on, on barbecue. You know, I think everybody in town kind of does it the same kind of way. We wanted to create uh, a great space, a great environment, um, simple, casual, but really good quality food. Co-owner, pit master, Michael Schmidt, cuts even deeper. Tagline is a Southern style barbecue, because not all of it's Texas style. And it's a very, and they really, the part that's Texas is the brisket and the beef rib. Um, the pulled pork, the ribs, throughout the South, that's what you're gonna get, same thing with the chicken and the sausage. The way we order, the counter style, is definitely more reminiscent of the barbecue places in Texas that started out as butcher shops and meat markets. But the thought is, is how best way to serve barbecue. You know, you get in line, you order it, it's casual, you sit down, they bring it to you and you eat it. I'm a bit busy. I'll let the guys take over for a minute. We have a very simple menu. We got four sides that we make all the time that are just good quality sides, all made in-house, uh, from fresh ingredients. And the proteins are range from family-raised pork, family farm-raised pork, to locally made sausage with Azars. No antibiotic, hormone-free, it's all Duroc, which is a heritage pig. Um, all comes from one farm up north. Now there is some cross-pollination of regional barbecue styles being created inside the kitchen, but the fellas definitely wanted to give it a local flavor. Barbecues should give a sense of place. <clears throat> and with us, we want to give a sense of Jacksonville. 
So we use oak, live oak, and, and uh, white oak from the region. Um, so it will taste slightly different, as barbecue should taste regionally different. So we wanted to kind of create our own influence. Is why we, again, what we call Southern barbecue. We've taken influences from the Carolinas and from Texas, but we've kind of made it our own right here in North Florida. While the food is the enticement to drop in, that vibe we heard about earlier encourages patrons to kick back and hang for a while with the whole family. From the get-go was how can we make something that people want to come eat here because of the food, but they want to stay and come back often because of the inviting atmosphere. We wanted, we wanted to create a space that um, both adults and children and mostly you know families, you know, parents could bring their kids, have an area that was safe for them to wander around. The parents could sit and enjoy a meal. And so we painted some our fences with chalk paint. Kids can draw whatever on there. They get, they're enclosed in. Parents can keep an eye on them. Um, there's Adirondack chairs and we see in the evenings, you know, people will have dinner and then move to the to the grass and enjoy a cold beer or a glass of wine. And we really wanted to create this space like you were at your neighbor's backyard barbecue. Uh my neighbors do not cook this good. Come down and enjoy some backyard barbecue in a casual environment. Uh, and uh, bring your friends, bring your kids, bring your appetite. I've never had to be told that twice. Appetite satiated. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Mm, I can't even talk. I'm drooling. <laughs> that, rib, that thing of ribs looked like it would take our whole table up. Oh, that yeah. Like the well Flintstones. Like oh, the yeah. Thing the Flintstones. Now, uh, you guys saw all the meats, but what was interesting, their vegetables, their sides, all vegetarian. So, like, a lot of places when they do beans, they'll add ham hock, whatever. But uh, it's all vegetarian. So you can go there and stay away from that. Stay away from the meat if that is your style. But they're open on uh, San Mark on Kings Avenue in San Marco. So if you want to know more, head to the beardedpigbbq.com. Okay. I'm heading there now. <laughs> <laughs> head on over to our social media, too. We have a lot of ways for you to reach out to us and a question on Facebook about work emails. It's all at River City Live. TV. Wait, we'll be right back. Hey ladies, imagine not having to wash your hair for days, even a week. We've got the beauty secret that's got your friends buzzing. Plus, keep your glasses on ladies. We've got makeup tips designed specifically for the spectacle. And we're helping you get into a new ride with a price tag that won't give you sticker shot. That's all ahead on River City Live. Not many days of this left. Loretto Elementary School, Mrs. Silsby's class, winner of the most books read over the congratulations, guys. We'll be back.